Hi, welcome to my video on the motion of an object in the air. In this video, we're going to find the maximum height and we're going to find when the speed is increasing and decreasing. Okay, we have uh, th is uh, equal to negative 16 t squared plus uh, 96 t plus 112. T is greater than zero. H is the height in feet. T is the time in second. Notice this time we have a negative 16 because this is in a, the British system or uh, American that we that didn't change to the metric system. So in the previous video I had a negative 4.9. So the difference for two different many many people use 4.9. That uh, comes out to be the force of gravity, which when you double it, you get a negative 9.8. Here you get uh, negative 32, the force of gravity. Find the maximum height. So the maximum height is when we uh, have the slope of the tangent zero. So that's when we have h prime is equal to zero. So if we make do the derivative of h, Derivative is negative 16 times 2 is negative 32t, and derivative of 96t is 96. Derivative of a negative 100, sorry, derivative of 112 is 0. And so if we let the derivative equal to 0, that's when the slope of the tangent is 0, we will get the time when that happens. So that's happening at 32t plus 96 equals 0. Negative 32t equals negative 96. Divide by negative 32 and we get 3. So the height, the maximum height occurs at 3 and so that's h of 3 is putting 3 in this expression now, 16, 3 squared, negative 16, 3 squared, plus 96 times 3, plus 112. And negative 16 times 9 is 144. 96 times 3, uh, 288, plus 112. So oh, that's a negative there. So you add that up and you will get 256. So that's the height at time t. So the maximum height is, again, this is not in meters this time, this is in feet. So it's 256 feet, and it's three seconds. And just to look at that a little bit more, just think about it. We have, uh, when t is zero, and t is 0, we get a height of 112. So let's say the height when t is 0, this is t, this is h. When t is 0, we get a height of 112. So the maximum height is 256 occurring at 3 seconds. So that means, let's say, 312, just take an estimate way up here. So that means it leaves here, it goes up, up, and it comes down. So that means that time goes by at three seconds it takes three seconds to get up so it takes three seconds to come back down to the same height so and it continues on until it hits the ground so what, why I'm drawing this is this is three and this is three comma two fifty six I want to explain about when we do the derivative of and the double derivative. Number two, find when the object speed is increasing and decreasing. So we have uh, the derivative, which is right here. So h double prime t is equal to negative 32t plus 96. So what happens if we draw a line and let this line represent the derivative height in terms of time. So we found that uh, when the t prime is equal to zero, we found that t was equal to three. So there's, this is 
zero, this is three. So at the time is three seconds. The height when the double prime is zero, we found it to be at three seconds. The velocity height is zero right here at three seconds. So what happens to the velocity when you look at when you look at h prime of negative 32t plus 96 if you take the time between 0 and 3 and say let's say 1 take the time more than 3 which is 4 so when you put a 1 into this expression that's going to give you a positive and when you put 4 into this expression you're going to get a negative at uh, three seconds you get zero so what that means is that if you let negative 32t plus 96 be greater than zero negative 32t is greater than negative 96 divide by negative 32 that gives you a three so the uh, velocity is greater than zero for when t is less than 3. So that means it's from 0 less than t less than 3. So the velocity is negative after it leaves this height of 112 and going upwards to. So notice because it's negative here, because it's, sorry, because the velocity is positive, it's going upward uh, there. I said the velocity was negative, but the velocity is greater than zero for this time interval. So that means the object is going up. Positive velocity is up. Negative velocity is down. So if you go negative 32t plus 96, as velocity is less than zero. Negative 32t is less than negative 96. Divide by negative 2 is greater than 3. So when the time is greater than 3, your velocity is negative. That means from that time on, the, the object is moving down. Okay, what about we do double prime of t? The double prime, derivative of the uh, h prime, derivative of negative 32t is negative 32. And derivative of 96 is 0. So that means your uh, acceleration is always a negative 32. So that means that from this point on, it's opening downward. It's always going down from this point. Its acceleration is always negative at, at zero. So if you let the t be zero, your acceleration is negative 32 onward. Any time after the acceleration is the force of gravity pulling it downward. So if you take this line and make it h double prime zero is time and we got three so if you put zero seconds in here you get a negative it, it, it is you get zero but zero in here you get a negative 32 but we can't start at zero but if you put in one second is negative you put in two seconds is negative put in three seconds it's zero and negative here because it's at three seconds it stopped so there's no acceleration and then it starts to pick up again but the force of gravity looking at these two speed if you look at the h of t h prime and h double prime you get a plus here on uh, velocity uh, velocity you get a negative here on acceleration so the speed that's negative speed and here you got a velocity which is negative acceleration is negative so that means you got a positive speed let me explain in relation to this chart so if if, if you throw an object in the air as it leaves here it's going upward positive velocity but the speed is slowing down because it starts off uh, at and this is how it's shot up into the air because this is the velocity that shot up in, into the air at 96 uh, meters per 
of feet per second. So as, as, as it goes up, it starts to slow down until it stops. Then after, when it stops that, at that moment, at three seconds it stopped at this height, then it starts to come down again. So that means that the speed, as it's coming down, the speed is beginning to pick up. The acceleration is taking over, the speed is picking up. So the speed is increasing. The speed is increasing uh, in the interval of, uh, we could say, 3 to infinity. Oh, no. 3 to the time that the object hits the ground, whatever time when the object hits the ground. So that means we have to let the height be zero and work this out. So let's let the h of t equal to zero. And so that means negative 16 t squared plus 96 t plus 112 is equal to zero. So we divide by uh, negative 16 going to both of those numbers. Let's see. Take 112. Just turn this on. Just check. Oh, 112 division 16. Okay. Divide by negative 16. T squared. And uh, 96 divided by 16 is 6. And... Divide by negative 16 and you get a negative 7. Works out. So this is factorable. T, T minus 7 plus 1. So T minus 7 equals 0. T plus 1 equals 0. T is 7. T is negative 1. So at right here, that's a 6. At 7, the this object is on the ground. So that means that this could from three, from three to seven, put a seven there, from three to seven, it's the speed is increasing because at, at seven seconds, there's no height. The object is stopped. And when is the speed decreasing? spell correctly the speed is decreasing from 0 to 3 at 0 is not is not moving at 3 is stopped so from it's positive from 0 right here the speed is decreasing that's negative and again look at it. as this moves up it slows down so the speed is decreasing from 0 to 3 or again plus or minus here on velocity, plus or minus on the acceleration, and again, if the product, positive times a negative is a negative, negative times a negative is positive, so the speed is, is decreasing from 0 to 3, increasing after 3, up to 7. So I thought I might do a question like that to explain about the velocity and acceleration moving on an object in the air. And again, if you like my video, click on the like button, click on the subscribe button, visit my math website, www.mathfullyexplained.com to find more information about me, my videos, and the content. The content on my YouTube channel called Math Fully Explained. Just one word. Thank you for viewing my video. Hope the video helped you.